seem like a really creative person. I've heard you do quite a lot of things. My main business is the restaurant business. I run restaurants with my family. You also design hats. I have a little atelier. I work together with my wife and we make uh, peaceful handmade hats. Do you want to tell me a little bit about how amazing the Vienna art scene is? We do have an incredible art scene and we have some wonderful museums, starting with the Belvedere or the Mumok. But there's also some lesser known ones, like the newly reopened Albertina Modern, which is incredible. And I think the Albertina Modern has a relationship with BMW Austria. It's quite a nice collaboration. And there's also a second museum which is opening in September, and that's the Sigmund Freud Museum. And a little secret tip is that it actually has a small section dedicated to contemporary art. I would never have expected that. I'm going to take you to a place in the middle of nowhere in Corinthia, in contrast, which is a private collection that was from the BMW Art Guide, and I'm super excited to see it. It's called the Museum Launig. My father started collecting in 1964 when he was still a student, due to the fact that most of our friends are Austrian artists. The focus is on Austrian art. The building itself has 5%, which is visible. All the rest is under, underground. It was important to keep the, the footprints minimal as possible. I like all your natural light here, so it's stunning. Yeah, that's the, it's one of our crucial things. We love to have natural light. It is a difference if it's white, it's white and not yellow. It's unfiltered. It's me saying that with my blue sunglasses on right now, but... <laughs> But she, was, she had a hard time because she was the, the wife of a very famous museum director. And everyone said, well, she is the wife of the director and she paints as well. I mean, the thing, there's so much more different mediums than I expected her to do. It took me a second glance to realize it was a self-portrait. She paints her own emotions into the painting, so it's never ever a real image. Yeah, but maybe the struggle is where the good stuff right. comes. This is amazing. Is it okay if we look around the rest of the collection? You're very welcome to. Have fun. So amazing. Beautiful. I love it. So this is a work by an artist called Dora Maurer. She's actually become really famous in recent years. She had a solo show at the Tate. And it changes, you know, depending on what angle you're looking at it as well. Not typical Austrian if you think of the history of our arts. No, actually almost I would have thought that was like South American. It's mm -hmm. so vibrant. Very true. You can feel the weight of them as well. Which is a really interesting idea about language, like the weight of language exactly. on you. I feel even more tiny than I already am. <laughs> they were like really early pioneers of new media art, so working, making their own computer programs and incorporating video into sculpture. They actually had like a really influential electronic music album, I think no 81, way. 82, as ZYX. Yeah, I know, this is just the whole energy flowing right here into the middle of the... What would you even call this? Is this a sculpture? Is this a I painting? Mean, is it a... Sculptural installation? Yeah. I mean, the building is a work in itself. 100%. I mean, I could live here. I mean, the BMW Art Guide is incredible because it's really private collections, often in spaces that are off the beaten track, which I think is really valuable. Thank you, BMW. It's been an incredible collection yet again. Let's see where the BMW Art Guide is taking us next. Let's ride into the sunset and head back to Vienna. Goodbye, Canton. It's been <laughs> wonderful.